What is going on, everybody? It's been a minute. Bowfug is back, and we're gonna do a quick review of this F11. I've been eyeballing this stuff for months and watching YouTube videos and just being skeptical about it. So finally, I went ahead and bought some and uh, did my truck last weekend. Um, and I found that I had overspray all over it. So I went ahead and just went with it, but it didn't really do a great job because it was just filling in, in between the um, overspray. So this weekend, I got some clay bar. This side's already been done. Smooth as glass. Here, you can hear it. So I'm about done. And uh, I'm going to finish it up and I'll give a, a quick little uh, glance, overview, and my thoughts. Are you ready? Here we go. So I just do a little detail spray on this pretty damp cloth. Wipe it down to clean the surface here. Get all the road grime off. Kind of clean the surface a bit. Got to start with a clean surface. Of course, that's always the case. I'm gonna do the clay bar and get the contaminants off the truck. Here we go. All right. Probably can't pick it up on the, uh, the video. But you can kind of hear the clay bar, it sounds scratchy. That's how you know it's picking up all the contaminants. Then when it gets quiet, it needs to be clean. I have two more panels left. All right, clay bar's done, didn't take much. Wipe down the uh, excess detail spray. Put the surface. And then we're gonna apply the top 11, top 11, F11 top coat. All right, here we go. Some the shadow. Good, baby. Weirdo. You can see the haziness, letting it dry a little bit. The F. 11. Just gonna polish that stuff right off. And it's so smooth. Look at that, look at that shine though. This truck is ceramic coated by um, Ceramic Pro. Silver package. It's been, it's about two years old. But it's pretty good. All right, let me finish this up. Even does a number on chrome and mirrors, man. Yeah. No water spots, no smudges, no smears. Clean. All right. So wrap this video up. Um, it's a perfect day to uh, do the final thoughts on the top 11. Jeez. F11 top coat. Why? It's raining. So, um, I'm, I'm actually pretty impressed. I really am pretty impressed. Let's, let's take a look. So, I mean, that, the hydro hydrophobic qualities of this stuff is really, dude, it's, it's phenomenal. It just, it just beads right off. It rolls right off the paint. I did my wheels. They look good. Glass. It's beating off. It's like I just had ceramic coat. Just done. Look at it. Just rolling off. So, if you aren't a believer in the <clears throat> Top Coat F11, you should be. <clears throat> it's good stuff. It is good stuff, all right? Sold. And actually, it goes on pretty quick, too. It doesn't take as long to wipe my truck down as I would with like a detail spray. I don't know, it just goes on clean and 
happy. I am super happy. Be beating off like a champ. So, give it a try, guys. It's worth the money. Okay, guys, that being said, I give it a 10. I do. I give it a 10. I think this product is uh, legit uh, for the money. So, definitely, definitely check that out. Um, like I said, I bought the kit with two bottles and it came with 10 microfibers that are gray. Um, <clears throat> did the truck twice and we did the uh, Durango as well and I think I burned up three quarters of one bottle yeah three, so I uh, dumped the rest of it into the other bottle and now we have a whole bottle um, left and uh, it's kind of nice because the tin rags that we got so the tin microfibers are gray so they're kind of set aside just for the trucks uh, on the F11 so whatever that's kind of cool but um, I might check out the rest of their products and see what else they offer and if any good. But, um, you know, just wanted to put it out there. I know I had watched YouTube videos forever and, and uh, had been skeptical on that stuff. But I'm telling you now, it's a winner, winner, chicken dinner. So give it a try. All right, that's it for this guy. Uh, I'm going to have chores to get done today. And uh, that be that. So, as always, be good, be safe. And remember, motherfucker loves you.